Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening up a bunch of mail, so stick around and see what we got. All right guys, so like I said in the intro, today we have a bunch of packages to open up. I'm super excited because some of these, like, like I've told you guys a million times, have been sitting around my house for a while. So I'm very, very hyped to finally open these up. Some of them I honestly don't even remember what they are. So uh, we'll see what this is and all that. Um, but yeah. Uh, first, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna start this off with a couple packages that I already opened up because I was using the boxes to uh, ship other things out to people. So uh, these are actually my um, WonderCon pickups that I got from Hot Topic and Fye, and it is, of course, the flocked Pokemon that came out. Love these things; they're so badass. We're definitely gonna be taking these out and checking them out. You guys already know, hashtag touch the flock. Here it is, this is the Eevee WonderCon exclusive. This thing is so cute. I love it, man. Honestly, some of the, the Pokemon are like my favorite set that have been coming out lately. Um, I, I just love them because, of course, you know, like everybody else, I'm sure grew up on Pokemon. Uh, I love every single one of the generations. So uh, when I see them coming out with newer generation stuff, I mean, I would say like newer, newer, but definitely newer than first gen. Uh, I get really excited about that. And you see things like this next one, which is uh, Pichu coming out. It's pretty badass, man. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Uh, I hope that they slowly get into uh, doing more stuff. How much would I love to see an 18 inch Charizard? Look at how cute this thing is. And the flock's really cool on these ones, guys. Love it. Got the little rosy cheeks. It's even like, um, like lifted on the cheek area a little bit. You see that little separation there. It's pretty badass. Uh, I love these pops. Definitely not mad about the quality on these ones. Super stoked. And those are the only things I picked up at WonderCon. Uh, there were a couple other things I kind of had my eye on. You know, like the apron was pretty cool. But I wasn't dying to have it. I didn't need it necessarily. So I passed. And even these, I didn't wake up to try to get on the uh, Funko website for them, which I don't really regret. I'm totally cool with having the shared sticker on these ones. And, uh, you know, if... If I end up getting the other ones one day, then cool. If not, that's totally cool too. I'm, I'm not dying over here for uh, all of the con stickers for the Pokemon. So those are my first pickups. Let's move on. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Before we move on too far, here's another one that I picked up in that Hot Topic order. And this is the new Ghost Pop. This is uh, Papa Nile. Uh, and this thing is pretty badass. Honestly, I love the box so much more on this newer one than I did on the older one. I just think that the, the little details, especially like behind the name plate down there at the bottom, it's a lot cooler. And uh, I don't know, I'm a big fan. And let's take this out so we can actually check out the paint job on this guy because it's looking pretty cool. Oh yeah, this thing is super sick. Love the paint job, especially on the body down there, the little details. This one looks great. Honestly, definitely would recommend picking this one up, guys. The uh, cool little hat vibe he's got going on up there. And then even the hair and the tie in the back. This thing's pretty sick, honestly. Like, uh, not that I dislike the older Ghost Pop, but I really like this one. This one's really cool. So, had to pick that up, jumped on it super quick, and I don't regret it in the slightest. All right, now moving on to our next package. All right, guys, our next package is actually from our friend Rock and Row. Cool little sticker right there on the side. Uh, he sent this to us after we did our uh, live last week. Let me crack this open real quick. He sent this to us after we did our live. If you guys didn't check out that live, it's a super awesome video. I pulled some crazy stuff. Um, all, oh, cool, you threw in some, some pretty cool stuff in here. So three things from him. And then a uh, cool little note. But before I go any further, definitely check out that live if you haven't already, guys. It is a super, super good time. It was awesome. Lots of hangs. A lot of cool cool people came and uh, hung out in the chat. So definitely go show it some support. And if you guys don't already uh, subscribe and follow Rock and Roll, I'll make sure I link him down the con or down below in the description so you guys can go show him some love. So let's take a look at the notes. It says, hey, Corey, I uh, hope this arrives okay. <laughs> oh, you finally got your scene. Okay, cool. Uh, I added in two kid robot figures. Hope you like. Looking forward to doing more stuff with you. Thanks. Stay healthy, Jim at Rock and Roll. So make sure you guys go show him some love. Jim's a really, really cool dude. Um, love his stuff. 
And uh, we're gonna open up these dunnies first because we already know what the super plastic is. It's actually, that super plastic's the last one that we need to. So let's see what this is here. These are the Dunny Art of War. Oh, wow. This thing's cool, it's got like hair. What a vibe, dude. This thing's wild, this is so cool. Definitely gonna stick these up right next to my uh, super plastic three inches. Oh, sweet, this guy like comes with little swords, so. Here's the figure. Little Dunny. And then he comes with uh, little swords. So let's get this put together and show them over to you guys. Hell yeah. Pretty cool. Samurai vibes. Super sick. Thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate that, man. And let's open this one up. This is actually the, like I said before, this is the last super plastic that I need. Or I'm sorry, last three inch super plastic, I should say, that I need to complete my set. And, oh man. Yes. Very hyped. This is the three inch janky by the artist scene. Here's the, uh, oh, the, I guess his doesn't have anything on the, f on the foot because it comes with this. So this is uh, scene's signature. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet, it's gonna go in my case. And then, uh, guys, I have a really, really cool super plastic video coming your way. Uh, I think it's gonna be on Thursday. We'll see, I might have to two-part it because man, gotten so much stuff lately. And I just don't know if I wanna put out like an hour long video. So I'm just gonna put that in his hand. Scene right there. And I'll make sure I show off my entire uh, three inch uh, Janky Series 2 collection in that video. So you guys can see them all together, all at once. Keep that letter from my boy Jim. And moving on to the next package after I get a little yerba mate pick me up. So this next one is from GameStop. Uh, and this one has an exclusive in here that I pre-ordered in the store. And then when uh, the whole COVID-19 thing went down, I was like, well, I'm never gonna be able to pick that, or I mean, not never, but who knows when I'm gonna be able to pick that up. So I'm just gonna buy it again. I'm gonna order it so I have it. Um, because I need to keep this set complete. And uh, in order to get the free shipping, I threw in some extras. So here's the extras that I got first. I got a, another uh, GameCube controller because you can never have too many of those. And I honestly like getting them from GameStop sometimes because it's a gamble on what color you're gonna get. Sometimes you get some cool ones. So this one actually isn't bad. Um, probably could use a little bit more cleaning on it, but it feels good. It feels a lot nicer than some of the other controllers I've gotten from GameStop, so that one's pretty cool. And of course, SSX Tricky. Loved this game growing up. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so they're really smart. They take the game out, put it inside a little envelope, and then they just send you the case separately. So I'll take the stickers off this case and then put the game in here. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, like your old, older GameCube games, that's kind of what I've been playing recently. And I've been playing them on Twitch. And let's see, is this... Uh, I don't see, there's something going on in the middle there. I don't know if you guys can see this little imperfection or what's going on there, but I'm gonna have to test this game out, see if it's any good. Um, but I'll trust that a little bit later. But yeah, if you guys are into uh, older GameCube games, make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash leftcoastcollects, because that's what I've been playing recently. It's, uh, it's been cool, it's been really fun. And here it is, the GameStop exclusive that everybody's been wanting lately. It is Stanley Hudson from Pretzel Day. This thing's pretty cool. I'm really excited about the Angela Pop that's coming out soon too. Um, I don't know if I've pre-ordered that yet or not. If not, then I'm gonna take care of that tonight. But um, the, everybody's kind of freaking out because they changed the office boxes. Let me know how you guys feel about the new office boxes in the comments down below. Personally, I don't mind it, but I know that it's driving some people absolutely bonkers, which is cool too. I mean, I get it all about the uniformity of your collection and I have all my office pops displayed in my bedroom so I get it I get where you're coming from <laughs> all right guys one last package for you this one I won in a raffle 
um, from God Gear Pops. I will make sure that I I'll link him down in the description. Um, I, honestly, I know I bought three spots. They might have been $10. They might have been $12. I'm not sure. Um, but I rarely enter raffles, but uh, God Gear is a good dude, and I wanted to show him some support because uh, he was, it was like one of the first waffles or raffles. Or whatever. I know he calls them waffleophagus, um, but I tend to struggle saying that word. All right, um, but yeah, so I wanted to show him some support and, because um, he's a good dude and yeah, so I did and I just happened to win, which is, I, I'm not mad about. Uh, but yeah, these pops, as you guys know, I'm recently, started buying more ad icons so i was very excited to get these for i think it was like I, i'm pretty sure i spent like 30 maybe 35 bucks on on the raffle but it is the newer ad icons the this one's the frankenberry with the bowl this one is the boo berry these guys have been sitting in a in a box in the corner of my living room for a couple weeks so um yeah, they're finally getting out and seeing some sunlight. So this is Booberry with the bowl. I don't know what it is. I really like Booberry. You would think that I would really like Count Chocula. I feel like I'm a Count Chocula vibe kind of dude, but I like Booberry a lot. So let me know in the comments down below who your favorite of these of these three are. Um, but here is the last one. This is Count Chocula. He shipped these really well, nice and packaged up, super super well, really rad. Thank you so much, Gaudier, for doing such a really cool raffle. Here's all three of them all together. Look at those guys. Super cool. Very excited to add them to the collection. Thanks again, man. Um, but yeah, and that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to avoid just like throwing all my mail into videos, but sometimes it just gets so stacked up that I feel like I gotta open everything up and uh, show you guys everything that's coming in all at once. Um, but if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys will see other stuff that I've been picking up. Um, sometimes I'll just get a one-off and I'll open it up. If, if I get something off eBay or I get something off Mercari or uh, any of those sites where you have to leave feedback, I tend to open those up um, like as soon as they get here. Because if uh, I know on Mercari, if you don't leave feedback, then the, the seller doesn't get paid. And then uh, eBay, the, the, those sellers are on you quick. You're like, hey, like, leave me feedback. So um, I like to open those up pretty quick and make sure that I get the seller the feedback they need. And um, yeah, make sure everybody gets paid. You know what I mean? Um, but if, yeah, if it comes from places, you know, like friends of mine, I trust my friends uh, or, or uh, you know, places like GameStop, things like that. I would rather open those ones on camera because if they come fucked up, then you guys can see it too. And you're getting a actual representation of what it's like to order from those companies so pretty cool um but yeah so thank you guys so much again for watching i appreciate it so much um i'm gonna have another video coming out on thursday i'm not sure if it's gonna be a mystery box or super plastic yet uh, i don't know follow me on instagram and you'll be able to see that so follow me at left coast collects i'll post a couple teasers on the uh on my story over the next couple days so you guys can see what it's going to be follow my wife at twitch.tv slash goth posh and follow the best content creators in the toy world at funko collector society on instagram and thank you guys so much for supporting the channel it means the world and i will see you guys later this week with another brand new video peace oh oh i'm gonna drop him oh, i'm gonna drop him